It's a nice sunny day out today. Seems like a perfect day to go fabric shopping to me. But every day is a good day to go fabric shopping to me. Who am I kidding? Let's go. So some of you guys may know, I recently got married and in addition to planning a wedding, I also moved into a new house. So needless to say, my life has been pretty busy recently and I haven't had a lot of time to do what I love most, which is sew and craft and cosplay. But now that my big projects are done, i.e. house construction and wedding, I can get back to my hobby. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have convinced my sister-in-law and my mother to come to Joanne's Fabrics with me, which means a trip down south. So I'm going into this trip with a couple of ideas of costumes I'd like to make eventually. But what I'm actually going to do this time is not have any firm plans. I'm going to let the fabric decide. I'm letting the fabric decide what I'm going to leave with. If I'm going to have a new project or if I'm just going to have like some small crafty things to do. So that's what the plan is for today. I'll see how much vlogging I can do in the store because my uh, mom and my sister-in-law are both normal and wonderful people and I am critically embarrassed of myself. So we'll see if that actually happens. Maybe. Just got here and I've already picked up three things that I had no intention of buying initially. It's starting good. This is coming along the lines of stuff I would want for Maleficent. This silky apparel fabric. I think I'd probably want something more along these lines. It doesn't show up very well in the camera, but it's a little less pingy than this is. It's a good option. And it's on sale. Alright everyone, so I am now back from my little trip to Joanne's Fabrics and I picked up this super fun cotton. I love Star Wars, I love Halloween, and I love fabrics, so it's everything I could have ever wanted in one. So I got a yard and a half. I kind of went in with a very vague plan, but I'm hoping to make a rectangle skirt out of this because I saw a tutorial recently that looked really easy to do a nice gathered waist, uh, poofy kind of skirt and it was using uh, quilter's cotton, so I figured I'd go and give it a try myself and make myself a festive Halloween skirt. Uh, so let's uh, see how this goes. Let's see how this ghosts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, so I've gone ahead and done a little bit of math to show you guys what I was working on. So what I bought was a yard and a half of repeating pattern fabric. That way I could cut it in half lengthwise along the fold line and have double the amount of fabric. So in the end, instead of having a yard and a half, I had three yards. So I used the first section of it, that's one full chunk, and that's the center front. And then the, the other half I had left over, I snipped in half so I could have two side backs. What I did before cutting the full length in half is I cut a four inch long strip to be my waistband. I just cut it straight up. I didn't bother calculating it out and making a pattern for 30 inches because I knew whatever was left over, I was going to make a hair bow out of. So essentially, that's kind of what I operated on and it worked out really well. And we're back then. Uh, so this project actually went really, really well. It didn't take as long as I was expecting it to. It was a quick two and a half hours to make this whole thing from start to finish. And it is poofy as all get out when you're wearing it, especially when I'm wearing my poofy little crinoline underneath it. It's adorable. My only negative comment about it is actually the fabric itself while it's cute and I love it, it reads much nicer when you're up close because when you get farther away, I find it just kind of like very distracting because it's so busy. So I think if I was to do this project again, I'd pick a fabric that is either more subtle or had a larger print that repeated, not so densely because it's very hard to visually absorb 
when you're looking at it at a, a bit of a distance. It just looks like a colorful hodgepodge. So since this was a relatively easy pattern to do, I decided to try something a little bit different. And this time I French seamed my side seams, which is a method of doing up your seams so that all of the raw ends are encased inside itself. And you do that by sewing the bad sides to bad sides and then flipping that seam inside out and sewing good sides to good sides, which means that your raw edges are encased in this nice clean finish. And something else I tried to focus on this time was a little bit of hand sewing. So I actually sewed in my the inside of my waistband with a slip stitch so that none of the stitching was visible to the outside and I didn't have a line of sewing going along the waistbands. I usually hate hand sewing because I find it tedious, but it's one of those things that um, I think makes some of your work a lot cleaner and nicer. So I think it's definitely worth it. Well, that's that guys. Thanks so much for joining me on my fabric shopping trip today. And then for my impromptu fabric project afterwards, I did buy other fabrics to work on future projects uh, while I was at Joann's today, but I'm not quite ready to strike off on those ones yet. So I'm going to hold off on showing you that stuff in detail until I'm a bit more ready and I have more of a plan formulated in my head. Potentially when I'm ready to work on that project, I can bring you guys along on the process as well and show you a bit more of my creative process. But for now, thanks so much for joining me today. I love you all and I'll see you all around the sewing machine next time. Ta-ta for now.